हाँ जी तो टुडे इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आई विल टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांच दैट मेनी ऑफ यू एक्चुअली ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग विल टॉक अबाउट सर्जरी टुडे एंड विद मी टुडे आई हैव अ गेस्ट सोचो कौन है वो वो आपका फेवरेट सर्जरी का टीचर सोचो कौन डॉक्टर गौरव पटेल टुडे आई टॉक टू हिम एंड आस्क हिम कि उन्होंने कब डिसाइड किया सर्जरी करने के बारे में और उनकी जर्नी क्या थी और फिर वहां से सीखेंगे है ना तो लेट्स वेलकम डॉक्टर गौरव हेयर हाय डॉक्टर गौरव क्या हाल है हेलो सर अच्छा पहली चीज तो ना गौरव आज ना बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट ने मुझसे पूछा है कि मेरे को लगा मैं आपसे डायरेक्ट पूछ दू अब yes, सर आपने कब डिसाइड किया कि आपने सर्जन बनना है और वो जर्नी कैसी थी सर सर्जन एज ए कैरियर तो बिफोर एम बी बी एस ऑल्सो आई वॉन्टेड टू बी ए सर्जन सो आई ज्वाइंट एम बी बी एस मेनली बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू डू सर्जरीज एंड सो वेन वेन आई ज्वाइंट एम बी बी एस एट दैट टाइम वेन वी यूज टू गो फॉर द क्लिनिकल पोस्टिंग सो इन द हॉस्पिटल दैट वॉज ए वेरी बिजी हॉस्पिटल सो इन द हॉस्पिटल सर्जन दे नेवर वेयर एनी एप्रन और द स्टेथोस्कोप बट वेन यू सी ए सर्जन वॉकिंग आई मीन दे वॉक लाइक सो कॉन्फिडेंस एंड दे वॉक लाइक लाइक a lion is walking in the jungle <laughs> so the moment you see uh, you don't i mean the surgeon don't have to introduce that he is a surgeon you will look at the person and you will know that a surgeon you are talking to a surgeon so that was very like fascinating at that time when you are like mbbs is kind of immature period of the medical career only but at that time only that uh, that that uh, uh, charisma that personality of the surgeon it was very fascinating then when we started our postings when we started going to the ot uh, uh, looking at the surgeries uh, sometimes we used to get scrubbed also like for the uh, uh, just for the assistance so that uh, that thing really uh, gave me like adrenaline rush and i always always wanted to be a surgeon so uh, when i gave my pg entrance i uh, luckily i got rank also so uh, because of that i got uh, surgery in delhi and uh, my whole journey that uh, post graduation ms period was fantastic and we have done so many surgeries and uh, all the cases we have uh, assisted we have seen and uh, never after taking the surgery as a branch there was not a single moment then uh, when i regretted that uh, why i had taken the surgery okay it was always like i always say that uh, it was the best decision i have uh, made in my life taking surgery as a branch सर अभी बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है आई मीट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु कम एंड आस्क मी कि सर आई ऑलवेज वांटेड टू डू सर्जरी बट व्हेन आई रीच माय इंटर्नशिप आई मेट सर्जरी पीजी हु टोल्ड मी कि माता यहां पे तो बहुत हैवी है बहुत काम है और मैं डर गया तो दैट इज क्या ये ऐसा मतलब सच में है या मतलब एक मिथ है कि यार सर्जरी रेजिडेंसी बहुत मुश्किल होती है करनी या बहुत हार्ड वर्क है नहीं सर जिसने बोला होगा ना प्रोबेबली वो फर्स्ट ईयर पीजी होगा जी बट इफ इफ यू गो एंड आस्क ए थर्ड ईयर पीजी और मे बी ए पर्सन हु हैज ऑलरेडी फिनिश द पीजी देन दे विल ऑलवेज से दैट दे आर लाइक ऑलवेज प्रो सर्जरी ना फर्स्ट ईयर पीजी में तो सर किसी भी ब्रांच में क्लिनिकल ब्रांच में थोड़ा तो हेक्टिक रहता है एंड वेन यू गो फ्रॉम योर कम्फर्ट जोन ऑफ एम बी बी एस टू लाइक पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन स्पेशली इन ए हॉस्पिटल विच इज बिजी हॉस्पिटल सो ए काइंड ऑफ फ्रस्टेशन इन द इनिशियल फाइव सिक्स मंथ विल बी देर but believe me if you stay there for 3 months 3 months then you will find the journey very smooth and you you learn working in that environment you you love that uh, you know that chaos uh, in the casualty you love that uh, uh, patient care in the ward so everything becomes like very streamlined and very smooth so i don't feel that uh, surgery is a burden branch uh, because all you have to do is just give initial 2 3 months in that department and you will start loving it और ना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी बात है जो डॉक्टर गौरव ने बताई कि अगर कोई ब्रांच आपको पसंद है और आप किसी से मिलने जाते हो तो खाली फर्स्ट ईयर पीजी से मिलके वापस मत आओ थोड़ा सीनियर वाले से भी बात करो फर्स्ट ईयर तो हमेशा दुखी मिलेगा हाँ, तो वो लेकिन वो तो रेडियोलॉजी वाला भी दुखी है हाँ सर वो सब भी है। वो तो पैथोलॉजी हाँ, वाला भी दुखी हाँ, है खाली हाँ, सर्जरी वाला नहीं हो तो सारी हाँ, तो आप अपना डिसीजन गलत बना सकते हो और उसमें थोड़ा सा अलग अलग लेवल के लोग से बात करो थर्ड ईयर भी एस भी थोड़ा कंसल्टेंट से भी बात करो कि लॉन्ग टर्म परस्पेक्टिव भी मिलेगा कि जर्नी कैसे होगी है ना अच्छा गौरव एक और बात बताओ मुझे जो बहुत सारे लोग बच्चे पूछते भी हैं और मुझे लगा मैं आपसे डायरेक्टली पूछता हूँ कि ये ना अभी क्या कोई जेंडर बायस ऐसा रहता है कि वो कोई कहता है सर लड़की सर्जरी नहीं कर सकती या लड़का गाइनी नहीं, नहीं कर सकता ऐसा कुछ है रहता है क्या मतलब नहीं सर सर्जरी में तो एटलीस्ट कोई भी जेंडर बायस नहीं है मैं जब कर रहा था तो मेरी मेरे साथ वाले बैच में थी देर वर लाइक टेन ऑफ अस व देर एंड फोर वर गर्ल्स अभी भी सर किसी भी हॉस्पिटल में सपोज एक यूनिट में दस पी जी फर्स्ट ईयर तो उसमें से थ्री और फोर यू विल सी कि गर्ल्स आर टेकिंग सर्जरी and uh, they are like doing exceptionally well also they are at par as a, as a surgeon as compared to their male counterparts 
So they are doing very well and uh, even they are doing super specialty in the branches like plastic surgery, pediatric surgery and they are doing ex exceptionally well in that. Many, many uh, females, they are heading the department at major institutes so, and they are doing their job very nicely. So that gender bias is at least in surgery, it is not there. अच्छा वो जो शुरू में आपने बात की थी उस सर्जरी की दबंगियत की वो मैं भी सोच रहा था कि जब अपन इंटर्न होते हैं ना तो हॉस्पिटल में जो सर्जन जाता है तो उसके पीछे एक एक पूरा एंटोराज होता है पूरा उसके पीछे लोग हैं मतलब उसके जूनियर आ रहा है उसके नीचे जूनियर फाइनल ईयर बच्चे भी पीछे पीछे आ रहे हैं फिजिशियन अकेला जा रहा है तो वो जो चार में उसके बारे में बताओ अब आज तो आप मुझे लगता है लैडर क्लाइम करते करते अब आप ऊपर आ चुके हो अपने खुद के आप काम के अंदर भी तो कैसा फीलिंग आता है so as a surgeon in the hospital like uh, you talk to the other department people you talk to the administration everybody will listen to a surgeon thoda sa surgery mein rehta maybe because you deal with the life and death so surgeons thode se uh, i mean uh, they become i mean you might feel that they are talking rude but they are actually not rude when you talk to them like uh, in a party or when they go to some like outside the hospital they are very nice people but uh, in the hospital they Sometimes they have to be that uh, rudeness should be there because even when you're training, when you're teaching the students, there should be a like discipline should be there. And so, जो surgery में higher की है ना वो surgery से ज़्यादा मैंने और किसी branch में follow करते नहीं देखा। जो हमारा second year PG है वो भले ही दस साल बाद मैं उससे senior हो जाऊँ लेकिन मैं उसको सरी बोलूँगा चाहे कुछ भी हो। तो वो एक higher की ना मैं बच्चों को भी बोलना चाहूँगा कि एक higher की surgery में follow करनी पड़ेगी अगर तुम्हारा senior बोल रहा है so you have to listen to him uh, maybe uh, that thing might not be uh, that uh, you know uh, significant but still you have to listen and uh, you try to follow as much as possible uh, whatever he is or she is asking you to do yeah i think wo zaruri bhi hai ki surgery ki aisi branch hai na bina mentor ke seekh hi nahi ja sakti ha sir ye radiology nahi hai ki aapne apni kitabein padhi aur aapne report kar liya aisa nahi hai aapko koi chahiye jo aapke upar trust kare aapko pehla mauka dega surgery karne ka aapko guide karega आप पे विश्वास करेगा यू नीड अ मेंटर इसलिए वो मेरे ख्याल हेयर की भी और वो सीनियोरिटी का रोल भी सर्जरी में ज्यादा है और दूसरी जो चीज जो मुझे लगती है जो कई बार हम उसको गलत सेंस में भी ले जाते हैं कई बार आपका जो सीनियर सर्जन है वो अगर आपके साथ थोड़ा सा नाराज हो रहा है या रूड हो रहा है शायद इसलिए भी तो हो सकता है कि वो लाइफ एंड डेथ का मामला आपकी गलती क्रिटिकल है वहां पर अब आपको प्यार से समझाए या डांट के समझे समझाना तो पड़ेगा ही क्योंकि यू आर ऑलवेज डीलिंग विद अब मिस्टेक विच इज वन स्टेप फ्रॉम डेथ ऑफ अनदर पर्सन तो थोड़ा सो स्ट्रेस तो रहता ही बाकी तो सर सर्जरी में ये आई वॉन्टेड टू लाइक से टू द यंग बडिंग सर्जन दैट वेन यू गो टू सर्जरी एज ए ब्रांच समथिंग यू नीड टू डू दैट डोंट आस्क योर सीनियर्स टू गिव मी सर्जरी कि मैंने देखा है बच्चे जाते हैं बोलते हैं कि सर मुझे सर्जरी नहीं दे रहे वो सीनियर के पास जाके बोलेगा कि मैकअप करूँगा सर्जरी मुझे आप बस असिस्ट करा रहे हो तो सर्जरी शुड भी अर्न that you do your work you do your ward work and everything whatever is asked to you and ek din aayega wo surgeon wo senior khud hi bolega ki sir tune bahut kaam kar liya aap do kar surgery so this is something very important in surgery don't don't uh, don't be hungry for the like cutting you will get cutting. the greedy. whole life is there for don't cutting. be greedy Haan. your time will come <laughs> yes sir <laughs> <laughs> and i probably there is also true for your career also कई बार मैं देखता हूँ जो नए सर्जरी पास आउट होते हैं वो थोड़ा सा रेस्टलेस हो जाते हैं मेरे पास काम नहीं आ रहा हाँ, समय हाँ, आएगा हाँ, थोड़ा सा नाम बिल्ड करेंगे थोड़ा काम करेंगे हाँ, आ जाता है कोई भी सर्ज, कोई सर्जन ऐसा नहीं है जिसका कि ठीक ठाक एक्सपीरियंस हो वो खाली बैठा है चाहे वो हाँ चाहे वो इंस्टीट्यूट में हो चाहे वो अपना प्रैक्टिस करे कोई भी ऐसा नहीं है बस थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखना है थोड़ा सा एंड ट्राई टू बी ए लर्नर ऑलवेज इवन इफ यू आर लाइक वेरी सीनियर पर्सन इफ देर इज समथिंग न्यू सम न्यू सर्जरी ट्राई टू लर्न इट एज ए स्टूडेंट कोई ऐसा इंसिडेंट आपका सर्जिकल करियर का जो लगता है कि यार बहुत ही उस दिन लगा कि हाँ यार सही सर्जन बना मैंने कुछ कर पाया जिंदगी में या किसी की मदद कर पाया सर मेन तो सर्जरी uh, में जो थ्रिल आता है व्हेन यू व्हेन यू ट्रीट ट्रीटेड ट्रॉमा पेशेंट्स व्हेन दीज ट्रॉमा पेशेंट्स कम दे आर लाइक अनस्टेबल दे आर डाइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू गो ओपन अप द पेशेंट देर इज सम ब्लीडिंग यू कंट्रोल दैट ब्लीडिंग एंड सर्जरी में सर ये है कि पेशेंट इफ यू ट्रीट दैट थिंग दे कम वेरी दे कम आउट वेरी नाइसली द रिकवरी इज वेरी नाइस same goes for the malignancy if they come at a early stage you treat the malignancy they live for like many years so wo jo sir ek cure wali feeling hai na wo surgery mein hi aati hai ki humne isko theek kar diya ye aaj aaya tha hamare paas aur ab yahan se theek ja raha hai matlab medical branches mein bhi hai there are diseases but those are chronic diseases patient are living with those diseases they are just trying to like control those diseases in surgery there is cure ki aap usko theek kar dete ho aur wo jo sir jo surgery karte samay jo rush aata hai na adrenaline rush wo ek surgeon hi samajh sakta hai in both the ways uh, when you save the patient and sometimes unfortunately when the patient dies also that feeling all, only a surgeon can understand and i think surgeons love early, early malignancies 
Yes, sir. That you've resected completely. Abscesses, bleeders, bleeders. Yes, <laughs> anything that you can do fully. I think the surgeon are people who have a personality who want to control it. Yes, sir. Who want to make sure that I cure it fully. Yes, sir. One time, patient late gaya OT table pe, to you have the total control on that patient. Patient is anesthetized. Tumara hi control hai. Uh, you can either save that patient and your mistake can cause the life also. So in either way, the surgeon is, uh, I mean, that's why uh, the branch is a bit harsh because uh, they, are, they are training you for that life and death situation. So uske liye to thoda sa, sir, mistake karna isme 1920 wala wo nahi hai. Jaga nahi. Bhi iski jaga nahi hai. Isme to tumhe Please correlate hai. clinic ki jaga bhi nahi hai. <laughs> Kyunki ab to patient khul gaya hai. Yes, <laughs> Achha, ek aur gaurav mein jana chato ki there are a lot of people who are listening to us right now who will be appearing for need PG yes, soon. So any particular tips that they should definitely look at these topics for need PG in surgery? Yes sir, these days the important topics like trauma is very important. Trauma is something which I can say that uh, they will get uh, lots of questions from trauma. And mostly the questions from trauma are easy questions. Sometimes they frame that in the clinical scenario. Sometimes they give some image based question. But usually the trauma questions are very straightforward. You have to just follow the current guidelines. And trauma is one important topic. Then sir, breast cancer is very important topic. Breast cancer, so many questions. I mean, they are asking, uh, going deep into the management of the breast cancer also. Apart from these two in the... Um, in, in the general surgery part, uh, vascular disorders like varicose vein, lots of classifications they are asking, uh, clinical methods uh, they are asking in NEET as well as in INICT. So these are very important topics. One should never leave these topics. They have to be very, very good in these topics. Apart from that, uh, plastic surgery, some very uh, like small topic is there, but uh, every year they are asking question on cleft disorders, the, the difference between different types of grafts. So these are very important topics in the general surgery part. In the urology, uh, uh, basically the testicular cancer, torsion of the testis, uh, renal stones, these are the important topics. In GIT, esophagus motility disorders are important. Uh, in, in the hepatobiliary system is very important uh, in the whole, if, the, if you see the GIT, gallbladder cancers and uh, liver disorders. So these are some, uh, some important topics uh, for the upcoming exam. Wonderful. And Gaurav, you know, I have now a question that uh, is slightly offbeat, but it's necessary. Lot of residents who are now opting for surgery, yes, immediately after joining surgery, they start complaining that department is toxic. Did you have any experience of toxicity during your residency? Or, you know, and how do you make the department better for your juniors now? Fortunately, sir, in my residency, the department was totally friendly. And despite being a big hospital and lots of patients, they were very friendly. All the senior PGs, the senior residents, uh, even the consultants, they were, they were very supportive. So as far as uh, mine thing residency is considered, that was uh, that went very smooth. But yes, few of my, my friends they were there in uh, a different college, so they were saying that uh, the duty hours are a bit hectic. But they were not. Uh, uh, I mean, they were not complaining mainly of the duty hours. The problem is the way their seniors they talk to them. Hmm. Like even if they do like 36 hours, 48 hours work, still they get scolded for some uh, very uh, like. Uh, Trivial issues. Uh -huh, very trivial issues. So that is the main reason. So this is what I want to like, uh, even if like my juniors, they, they're becoming like consultants. So this is what I tell them that uh, the scenario is not like it was before 25 years back. So we need to be a little bit uh, more uh, like uh, friendly with the, uh, I mean, uh, the residents. So that will help them in learning better way. So mm -hmm. they can ask you a question. If you mm -hmm. keep on scolding, they will not ask you anything mm -hmm. because they are always get scared that if I ask this, so uh, we don't know that how will they behave. So this is one very important thing uh, that the time is also changing. It is not like if some senior is saying anything and the, uh, the resident is doing that. So there are lots of cases mm. and other mm. things also. Mm. So this is, uh, but the scenario is changing, sir. The mm. people, they are changing uh, as per the current uh, scenario. So I don't think that toxicity is as per in the surgery department only, toxicity is uh, that may vary from institute to institute and department to department. Yeah. So one thing that I have learned is, is very interesting, but I've learned as when you're leading a team as a surgeon or a, even as a radiologist anywhere, one rule if you follow, I think it reduces a lot of toxicity. That is praise the person in public. Yes, sir. Insult in private. Yes, sir. The problem happens when you start insulting in public yes, yes. and not praising for anything. Yes, sir. So if you are constantly insulting or you know downgrading the resident, yes, 
they yes. start feeling little low. Yes. Sir. But if that can be done in private also, you yes, can sir. call yes, him sir. to your ah, room and yes, tell sir. that ah. these are the things that you are doing wrong, yes, and let us work on it. Let's improve. Yes, sir. And so because when you start, uh, what I have learned is when I talk to many residents. What they don't like is that in front of the relatives or the patients and yes, the everybody, even the ward boys, sisters, everybody standing and somebody starts give, going on yes, to sir. them right, left and center. So I think that is what contributes to the mental health issues. Yes, sir. Also, uh, it is a physically challenging branch. There is no sir. doubt on it. This is what I used to tell my residents that uh, there is no like special uh, lunch break or uh, like a tea break, but you have to like, you have to eat, you have to make yourself physically fit because this demand needs lots of like physical fitness also apart from the medical. You have to run from one place to another, OT to OPD to ward. So one has to be physically fit. So this is what I say that whenever you get time, you eat something. So don't don't just uh, starve and just keep on doing work. There are lots of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, residents are getting disease like tuberculosis yeah. and all because of the low immunity. So this is what I tell them that you eat and uh, you make yourself healthy physically as well as mentally to uh, be in uh, the department like, like surgery. And I think not only physical health, I think mental health is equally mental important. Health. So I know, I, I'm sure Gaurav will add on to it that surgeons do party hard. What so this, this is like uh, elaborate. <laughs> that is a different, uh, I mean, personality you will get like uh, when, when, when the ah. surgery, when the surgery department is going for the party. Hmm. So that is altogether a different scenario. The people they eat, they drink, they, I mean, uh, all the things. And in the party, everybody is like a senior, junior, everybody is equal. So uh, I don't think ki surgery ke lawa, sir, koi or department hai jo itni party karta hoga. Because every time somebody does a new, uh, new procedure, so there is a party. Hmm. Then uh, I remember, you know, when we had that, uh, I did my hydrocele operation in the internship. internship. Yes. So then you have to the, bola golgappe khane ab sab uh -huh. <laughs> So you have to take everybody for that. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. I think. Surgery mein har jagah ka kuch set hai. Ye kar diya to ye hoga. Uh -huh. Ye kar diya to ye kar. Uh -huh. Very interesting. Yes, sir. So all in all, you know, Gaurav, now what is your advice to future medical students who are listening to you right now? All those medicos who want to be surgeons. What is your advice? Sir, my advice is that first of all, if you want to be a surgeon, Make sure you tell somebody that you want to be a surgeon. Okay. And don't forget that. Maybe there, there will be like many people who will be saying some bad things about surgery as a branch that you have to do super specialty and all those things. But if you want to be a surgeon, believe me, if you take the surgery, you will never regret that you have taken the surgery. Okay. Whether you do super specialization or not, surgery is a very beautiful branch. But uh, at the same time, uh, you have to study hard also. Okay. Surgery you will not get at the like uh, bottom in the uh, merit list. So, uh, and you take surgery uh, and try to uh, learn the things, okay, don't go for uh, surgery as the cutting part, okay, you have to see also many things, you have to observe, you have to assist, and the whole life is there for the cutting, so don't run after the cutting part, it is your learning phase in the, uh, in, in the PG, so learn the things by looking at the things, by uh, assisting the things, and uh, believe me, uh, taking the surgery will be your uh, best decision in the life if you take. Finally, Gaurav, you know, it's customary that we end this talk by a line that we always say in dams, apna time apun khud laega. <laughs>